Hello guys, I don't remind myself doing uh, reviews of motherboards. Today we're looking at Gigabyte DS Real P35 motherboard. Okay, let's look at the socket. This is a socket 775. Supports all processors except uh, new quad cores uh, over thousand dollars. So you would be able to run most any processor that is uh, 1333 phone side bus. Uh, here you have a six phase power design an average one not the eight phase but uh, it's fine when you have a motherboard under a hundred dollars so here you have a DDR2 up to 1200 DDR it says uh, up to 1066 but in reality it's not it's much more so officially it's only 1066 you, you get all solid uh, state capacitors made in Japan those capacitors are great they, their lifetime is 80% longer than lifetime of normal capacitors that you usually get those solid state capacitors included in this motherboard you don't get them even in 780i or 90, 790i motherboards from NVIDIA for over two, $200 so you get just a lot for your money this is a P35 North Bridge which makes it fast compatible fast for anything that you need with one PCI Express slot so you don't have uh, three or four PCI Express slots so you won't be able to build a crossfire on this but you get a lot of speed in one of those so it's a big 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 acceleration let's look down here you have a uh, three PCI-X one speed. Also, you get uh, three normal PCI, and you get on the bottom here four USBs. I don't know why would they include so many USBs here. I, I used only one. How many? Each of those divides by four. So think about how many USBs you have here already. You have 16 USB port available from this motherboard plus the ones that on the back so you can make, make a USB pentagon here okay you get uh, required a normal uh, 4 pin connector right here so you don't have 8 pin connector some motherboards have 8 pin they require 8 pin so you can't run them with only 4 pin normally so it has a great bias very overclockable bias the only thing I don't like about bias uh, is that uh, you can't um, change uh, memory timings also you, you have one ID in case if you have ID CD-ROM, DVD-ROM or something like the DVD device or hard drive which you want to plug is not SATA you have four SATA ports right here that are a bit of on the way if you plug a lot of cards here see you get, get them broken easily they break really easily they, they've been really cheap on plastic right here here you have audio 7.1 audio and LAN either one both of them uh, I had like several of those motherboards and uh, I had always problems with neither audio or uh, LAN just, they just stopped working that's all they just in some reason they just, just stopped that's all um, probably this some kind of chips right here are very sensitive for dust or something so that's the uh, second downside of this motherboard except SATA ports the audio on LAN they just stop working also the chipset the heat sink right the one that you see I would definitely recommend install a fan on it because if you don't it runs just like really hot it would melt down everything that you can imagine and then it goes even not stable they didn't think about it so that's another third downside of this motherboard positive sides of this motherboard is DDR2 up to 1200 megahertz and uh, 1333 front side bus plus PCI Express 16x 1.1 version there is no other things that I can tell you about it can be better it has a 24 pin power requirement right here it has a slot for floppy and uh, let's go on back let's see 
Right here you got your audio. This is your LAN that stops working sometimes. Well, what's going to do? You have four USBs on the back. You have uh, uh, the the wire, the, the, the only one for uh, your surround sound, SPDF, and two USBs. I mean, two PS2 ports for your keyboard and your mouse. So uh, this is a definitely good solution for people who want to have a decent video card um, and decent uh, processor and good RAM without spending money on it, uh, on crossfires and all this stuff so just uh, just save on this motherboard but you put more money in video card and you will actually outperform people who have uh, 780i motherboards with their just like too much equipment that they bought all those physics cards that they buy they just spend a lot of money on those and they don't get a lot of performance but this one is definitely the number one for people who are gonna put more money in video card and less money in motherboard there is nothing else that I can recommend about um, in case motherboard